In this video, I'm going to explain the setting of an inspector course, including the story setting and also the scene setting. I'll also talk about the characters as well. On the first page of your book, where you can find the characters list, we can find more information about the story setting, including the place and the time of the story. If you look at the first paragraph of the first page, you will know that this story is set at Berlin's house at Bromley, which is an industrial city in North Midlands in England. So basically, it's a small town but with a lot of factories. Then, in the next paragraph, you'll find out that the story is set in 1912. It happens in an evening in spring. If you read page 7 of the book, you will find one more clue about the time setting of the story. On page 7, it says, The Titanic sails next week. Which means the story happens one week before Titanic sailed. So we can assume that the story happens during the week between the 1st of April to the 6th of April 1912. All these tell you the story setting. So these are the characters that are mentioned in Act 1, including the Berlin family, Arthur Berlin, the owner of Berlin and Company, and Sybil Berlin, the wife, Eric Berlin, the son, Sheila Berlin, the daughter, and Sheila is engaged to Gerald Croft, which is the son of Sir George Croft and Lady Croft, and they are the owners of Crofts Limited. And Sir George Croft um, is a business rival uh, of Avra Berlin. You can also see Edna, who is the helper in the Berlin family. Apart from these people, you can also see Inspector Gould, who visits the family during their dinner to investigate the suicide case of Eva Smith. And later you will find out that Eva Smith has relationships with almost everyone in the Berlin family and Gerald Craft. So you can assume these are the main characters that you are going to see in the coming acts. So regarding the scene setting, I have already explained in another video. The dining table should be set at the center downstage, and um, Arthur Burling will be sitting on one end, while Sybil Burling will be sitting on the other end, and Aaron Burling should be sitting should be seated downstage, while Sheila Burling and Gerald Croft will be seated upstage, and Edna should be standing, walking around, clearing the table. And this should be the setting of the beginning of the scene of Act One. So now we are going to look into the description of each of the characters in details. Let's first start with Arthur Burling. According to the description, Arthur Burling is a heavy looking man. Heavy looking means that he's a little bit choppy, a little bit overweight. Then he's also portentous, which means that he thinks he is very smart, he is more superior than other people. He's in his middle 50s, so around 54 55 years old. He has a fairly easy manner, meaning that he's actually comparatively more casual than other upper class or middle upper class people. And he is provincial in his speech, meaning that he doesn't have the manner like an upper class person. He is more like a countryside man, speaking pretty rudely, casually. So this is Mr. Arthur Burling. Then this is Sybil Burling, Mrs. Burling, the wife of Mr. Burling. He is about 50 years old, but he has a very, very cold manner. I think one of the reason why she is so cold is because she is her husband's, husband's social superior. Meaning that if you talk about a uh, compare the social status between Mr. Burling and Mrs. Burling, actually Mrs. Burling has a higher social status than Mr. Arthur Burling. So in the town, probably there are more people who know Mrs. Burling rather than Mr. Burling. And this is 
Sybil Berling, Mrs. Berling. About Sheila Berling, she is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Berling. She is in her early twenties, and she is very pleased with her life. She is excited, so she is a very cheerful and positive girl, and she doesn't need to go to work. And she's also engaged to Gerald Croft. This is Gerald Croft. He is engaged to Sheila Berling. He is very attractive. He's about thirty, and too many easy, well-bred men about town. All these descriptions tell that Gerald Croft is very fashionable. He cares about his appearance a lot. Also, he's very well mannered as well, and he's definitely from an upper class family. Last but not least, of course, we need to look at the description of Eric Berling, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Berling. He is in his early twenties, younger than Sheila, of course, and but he is not quite at ease. He is half shy and half assertive. So sometimes he may be very quiet. Without giving any opinion, but once he gives his comment, he is very certain about his own opinion. That is what assertive means. So before the start of the story, the test explains that the whole family, including Joe Croft, they're having dinner to celebrate a special occasion. And if you continue to read Edwin, you know that is to celebrate the engagement between Sheila and Gerald. And all of them are very pleased with themselves. So all these are the basic setting of the the play and its spectacles.